um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Sandy Mayer. I'm Morristown Council Vice President, member of Moms Command Action for about three and a half years. I want to thank Maureen Lombardi and Greg. They were the ones who got me involved in this wonderful organization. They suggested it when I was running for council, and I've been a member ever since. Turn and Teresa embraced me and uh, uh, really taught me everything about Moms Demand. So I was going to stand up here today and sort of rant like I did at last week's council meeting about gun violence, but everybody here has the exact same feelings that I do. We're tired of it. We're sick of it. We're sick of the assault weapons. We're sick of our children being attacked in school, hospitals, synagogues, churches, malls, everywhere we go, doctor's offices yesterday. Um, it's time to stop, and the only way we're going to make change in this country is if we elect the people who will make that change, who are not emboldened to the NRA for their campaign to get their jobs back. Uh, you know, these senators, these senators you know, uh, mostly Republicans, I'd say, well, um, are, are just in the back pocket of the NRA. For what reason? Because they like their job. They like their cushy job where they get to hang out in Washington and, I don't know, do what? Not help us with gas, not help us with baby formula, not help us with gun violence at all. So it's time that, you know, we're fortunate in New, in New Jersey. We have two really good senators. We have an incredible congresswoman in CD11 with Mikey Sherrill. <laughs> to get the people who understand the importance about gun violence re-elected and then in other states get them out of office and get people who support I'm our from cause. Florida. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it, it's You've got your work to do. <laughs> I do. Right. It, it's, it's unfortunate that there are a lot of people in states that don't understand or don't want to learn. Um, you know, David Hogg, who went through the Parkland killing and became an advocate, said, this time it's different. And I was like, eh, is it really? But 500,000 people joined Moms Demand Action in the country since last week. That's a We have 80 million members. We have more members than the NRA. We don't have the money that we have. We have more members. Our voices need to be heard. And this rally today and tomorrow in turning the country orange hopefully will make a difference and they're going to start passing legislation. Now I understand that they're looking at raising the age from assault weapons 18 to 21. Eh, to me, eh, first step, not good enough. There's no reason for having an AR-15, except that you're going to mow down a bunch of people for whatever gratification you get from that. So it's time we just banned assault weapons right there, ban assault weapons now. turning this town orange and bringing awareness about gun violence. We need that. The ribbons are going to stay up for a week. We'll take them down next week. But I'm going to turn it over to Teresa, who everybody knows. Yeah. And she's going to